Did I win? I don't think I did. No, I've been trapped. While the bounds of the spell can be tested, it is futile. The spell will hold. What have you done to me? A simple binding spell, which, unfortunately for you, is one I have perfected over a lifetime of work. But tell me, who are you? How did you come to have such powers? And the Book of Immortality, no less. I don't, I don't know anything. I am a scribe from the town of Cynthia. Cynissa. Except for Baldwin, we are a peaceful village. The word warriors attacked our village today. They killed my mother. I thought I could use this book to help. <clears throat> that does not explain how you came to possess this book. You see, the last owner was Queen Miriam Deville. Hey, she's cute. She was presumed dead and her book long forgotten with her. But there are many here who would kill to get their hands on her book if they know of its location. That woman looks just like my mother. I must be seeing ghosts. Ghosts, bite your tongue. This is Miriam Deville, former princess of Sharia. The strongest word warrior and high queen of the kingdom. She disappeared a long time ago. Once the kingdom was not as strong as it is today. We were fighting to survive and facing a fearsome enemy. We knew the day would come when they tear down the walls of Tilton and all hope for a unified nation would be lost. That was Oldolf's dream. Strength through unity. For that, I pledged my service to him. At the time, I was a young apprentice with the power to summon life from words. Simple spellcasting. But I heard these powers could be bound, contained in a focused source of power. The young Duke Oldolf believed in me. We left on an expedition, traveling across Bronze Peaks, Muggy Swampland, and finally to the crest of a mountain. You should see for yourself. Let Here, let me help you. Escape from Witter. Where are we? Is this the past? Indeed it is. You're witnessing the birth of the weapon of the word warriors, our books. Now silence, Heinrich, and watch. Are you sure about this, old Olaf? Is it, it is a dangerous task. You said the magic requires blood. This is our last chance against our enemy. They are too powerful. I am not going to stand by and let our lands be ravaged and destroyed. The magic does require blood, but there are no guarantees you will heal. It might not work. Fear not, wise man. I trust you'll return with the knowledge we need to focus your power. Now hurry. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm Witter now. First learn the meaning of the runic scrolls, which held the first clues to to bridge the historical gaps of the druid magic. They said to open mist mysterious runic gates the first scroll read reader beware for death will fall upon anyone who does not respect the burning fire uh, of this scroll's unfathom power but he who harnesses it will be able to create giant Ice blocks out of thin air. In the middle of the summer, they can bring cold harsh winter to his enemies and open mighty runic gates. Tell me, wise man, that you found what you were looking for. I have, yes. With this knowledge, we will be able to bind my magic to books and give them to our strongest warriors. Anyone with a book can craft matter or life from the form 
of a word. Odolf, this will save us all. That's all that matters. Odolf, stay with me. Odolf barely avoided death, but his vision was the foundation for the kingdom you stand in today. The man in your story was truly selfless. But I don't understand why sacrifice yourself to save the world from violence only to do the same yourself. The dream of a unified land cannot be forced through the will of one man, as Odolf would soon learn. This brings us to the next page of our story, to the point where she appeared, Miriam. Wait, sir, who is that fair lady? That Heimerich is Miriam, soon to be made a word warrior. But she looks so familiar. How do you speak to me of your magic tricks now? Witter, leave me in my grief, I beg you. We found the power of the books respond to the power of the person. Princess, with this magic and your considerable knowledge of herbology, you have the potential to restore life, perhaps to wield a book of immortality. Murdoch to the north, Algalon, Algernon to the west, and you from the east will, will create a powerful team capable of defying any invasion of any form. None shall be able to harm our people ever again. I cannot promise my people will follow you, but I will do my part to protect no, innocent lives. I do not know why that's playing. The shit is off. It's really frustrating. Uh, show me everything. He was able to summon a legendary griffin. He was Witter the Wise, and his vast knowledge from the gods. Talks about the ancient alchemy were Malin's strength. With it, she would. Oh. She would decimate toughest soldiers. Since the day she received her magic book, she was a natural for feeling in the holes. Guts again. Without swaying a drop. After being sent to combat the invading forces, he was able to rebuild bridges. Huh, I thought that would send her the bridge. Great game. Witter received his powers from imbuing the power of old runic rocks left by the ancients. The recipe sent from the east meant to produce a potent acid used to dissolve almost anything. In the darkest nights of the invasion, the realms were plagued with vampires. Who don't care about the uh, acid?
I didn't see that they were sitting to receive again. I guess they made him um, light up a minute ago because uh, it's the first time that, that kind of mechanic was used. Villains fought for days to defeat the enemies. Will this acid to defeat them? Oh, Jesus. Please don't. <laughs> uh, all right. Aware his rapier and their power combined, they sent their foes to the afterlife. Jesus Christ. You surprise me, young princess. That was the fastest anyone has been able to take the book thus far. I must say, I admire you. You're very kind, but there's no time for compliments. The second army is here. With Miriam and the rest of the word warriors, we were able to do impossible and defeat the intruders. And with their marriage, Oldolf united the kingdom. Mom always told me stories of the warrior princess. They were some of the first I ever committed to paper. This mother of yours... Did she always live in Senasa? No, she always said she came from far away. Why? Oh, Jester boy here. Heimrich, I'm here to save you. Back away, wise man. This time I have the tomatoes and I know exactly where to throw them. More party crashers. Those guards have to be fired. Heimrich, your friends outside are not going to wait much longer. If you want a chance to speak to the king, you must run. Witter, will you let us go? I cannot. There's much more you need to know. You don't have a choice. Oh shit. Pussycat's here. How can you tame the powerful Mensamba? Today is becoming quite interesting. <clears throat> Let's pull the castle and look for the king. She sure was a beautiful queen. He's so ugly like that thing on his shoulder. Witter was able to use his book to summon memories from the past. I wonder if I can use mine the same way. Hmm. 
<laughs> slicing and dicing. Back to the cannon tax. Inside the Sharon Palace. Who the fuck am I now? Am I the man I killed earlier? Murdoch could see the city aqueduct from afar and wondered in the breeze hot like a torch and thought the thought struck him like a cannonball. He could start a blizzard with his metal wand in this dry climate, only able to fight one guard at a time. hell uh he watched the skirmish going on the allied forces won't hold for too long it's a huge okay it's a huge enemy of horde soldiers Blizzard didn't seem to do anything against these guys. There's multiple cannonballs. Let's grab this cannon up here. Maybe. Longest fucking ice you've ever seen in your life. I don't trust this man. He doesn't have a good face. King Olaf and the Word Warriors fought to protect the kingdom. When did they begin to attack their own people? There was a revolution. Masamba, Jester, you're both alive. Yes, glad to see you weren't crying over our deaths. I want to understand the king. When did he become this way? What happened to the queen? Nobody knows what happened to her. Most think she died. You see, after the unification, the Sharon people became resistant to the new power. They wanted their independence back. But why would they want that when they were under such strong protection? Beats me. I'm so afraid of getting bruised. I bring an umbrella on stage to fend off rotten fruit. But some people want freedom more than protection. And in the fight to squash the Sharon Re Rebellion, Miriam chose her people. This really looks like mom. Could you tell me what, what really happened? 
Jester tells the story of how the Ward Warriors killed the leaders of the Sharon Revolution. Starting with Madeline's family without her knowing. Oh shit. She eventually gave birth to twins, but Witter informed Madeline about the betrayal of her family. As he found out, she tried to escape with her sons, but the soldiers found out, and she could only take one. That was me. I have a brother. Where is he? Prince Leofric. Doesn't ev doesn't everyone know? He became the feared world warrior, the snake. What was that? Seems your revolution has started without you. We have to go now if you want to tell our host his party just got bigger. Wait, I need to know more. I have to see. 